Okay guys, welcome to tutorial number six. Now to quickly inform you, I have renamed tutorial 5.ts as tutorial 6.ts, which is going to generate the corresponding tutorial 6.js, which I have referenced here in our index.html file. Now the content is however the same from the previous video. We still have the greet person function and the call to greet person. So in the last video, we learned that var declaration hoist and uses functional scope. Now in ES2015, we have a new keyword uh, for declaring variables, namely the let keyword. The difference, however, is that let declarations are not hoisted and are block scoped. So let us understand uh, the let keyword with a few examples. So let us change this var declaration to let, so let and let. Now this gives us a red underline over here and if I hover over it, it says cannot find name greet. And this happens because let is block scoped. Now a block is any section of code within curly braces like the if block or the else block, for, while and so on. So the first let is scoped to the if block and the second let to the else block. So our greet is outside the scope of the let declaration and that's why it does not reference anything. So we can conclude that var declaration gives us functional scope whereas let declaration gives us block scope. So to fix this code, we simply move the let declaration to the top and remove the declaration inside the if else block. So over here, we're going to have let greet greet and here we are going to remove this and over here as well so when I save this the browser is going to refresh and we still have hello Chandler if I remove and save this it says hi there so our function is still working pretty good okay so let me give you another example so that it becomes more clear to you. Let's create var a equals one and var b equals two. Let's have an if condition if a triple equal to one. Let's say var a is equal to 10 and let b is equal to 20. Then we just console.log a and b. A and console.log B and outside the F block let's again console.log A and console.log B so I'm gonna give you two seconds to guess what the output could be and then I'll reveal it so let me save this one two okay let's have a look so the outer output is going to be 10 20 10 2 so let's see how that works initially we have a equals 1 and b equals 2 now in our if condition we check if a triple equals 1 which is true so we go inside the if block now we are reassigning var to 10 and b with let declaration to 20 now if you remember var is functional scope whereas let is block scoped so let b is going to imply that within this if block the value of b is going to be 20 and over here a is going to be 10 so this is going to give us 10 and this is going to give us 20 so that is how we have initially 10 and 20 now when we go out of the if block because it is a var declaration the value of 10 is still going to persist. So we are still going to have 10. However, because this was a let declaration, the value is going to remain only within the if block. So the, the, the value var b equals two is going to be printed over here. So 10, 20, 10, two. 10, 20, 10, two. So that's pretty much it about let uh, the, the block scope of the let declaration. Now another key point to stress on here is that let declarations are not hoisted. So if we move this let declaration 
below console.log, you see that we get a red underline. So moving, so moving this declaration over here, we can not use the variable before it is declared using let keyword. So once you declare it, you can use it. You cannot use it before it is declared. So that means to say that let keyword does not hoist the, the, the variable declaration. And finally, unlike var declaration, let declaration cannot be redeclared. So what I mean to say is that let's say variable a or let's say variable c equals one and I can have again variable c is equal to two. This is completely fine. However, let d is equal to one, let d equals two. You cannot do this. We get a red underline. Cannot redeclare log scoped variable d. So you cannot declare or you cannot redeclare using the let keyword within the same scope. However, you can have uh, the declaration in different scopes. So let me move this back to the top and I can still have let over here and let over here. However, now we have three different greet declarations. So this let greet is going to be outside this if else block, the value. And within this if block, we have a let declaration. So this greet variable will be assigned hello Chandler only in this if block. And then in else block, we have this another let declaration. So three different declarations. So let has been introduced to replace the war in the long run. So you can start using let instead of the war keyword. You should be pretty easily able to replace war with let. If you're not able to, you probably have found something wrong in your code. So that is going to be it for the block scoping and not hoisting of the lead declarations. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.